back to the Disneyland series, what was Walt's role on this show? Well, he was your friendly host and, and uh, uh, storyteller and, and Uncle Walt, really, kind of, I think, to a, a couple of generations. Uh, he was pretty good on camera presence and uh, he was so genuine, you know, that even if he stumbled on the, he wasn't quite maybe as suave as some people, but, but he just had this sort of reality and, and uh, earnest way of, he was, you know, talking to you. He was really good at that. Uh, and, and the stories were family stories that, you know, the whole family could sit around and enjoy. Um, so he he sort of became uncle to the to the country, I think. Was that the Uncle Walt that you knew? Well, that's not the guy you you often found in the office <laughs> when you were working for him. Um, what was he like to work for? Well, he was tough. He he knew what he wanted. Uh, he didn't have a lot of patience for um, people who didn't get it. You know, he was. Always, though, and I think this is the most important thing, I mean, he may have known that he, he wanted to make some particular thing, but he was always open to another idea and uh, an improvement on his idea. He, he, you know, he never, you know, held on to things and say, well, that's the way we're going to do it and don't come to me with new ideas. Uh, he was really great at, at um, getting the most out of people. He worked with different people different ways. He was really tough on certain kinds of people, and, and uh, he was softer with others. And uh, well, he was a bit of an actor, a bit of an actor. He was a he was a massively an actor. With you being uh, his nephew, <clears throat> how were you treated compared to others? I I think my dad sort of had wished that I didn't get involved working with Walt because, of course, I was the first boy born in my generation, and Walt didn't have sons. He had two daughters, but no sons. So there were no heir apparent, heirs apparent. And I think my dad kind of thought maybe Walt would be resentful of me and treat me not as well as he might. And I never had a sense that that, that entered into the picture at all. Um, when I did crappy stuff, he got mad at me just like he would with anybody else. And, and um, boy, I mean, I felt about that big a few times. I felt like I wish I could crawl out under that door. But on the other hand, when I fixed what he didn't like and brought it back, he say he never said great job or anything. He never said that to anybody, but. Uh, you'd get a laugh, or you'd get appreciation, or, or, or you'd get it by him, you know. It's just getting it by him was a compliment. Uh, and getting a laugh was, you know, that makes your day.